Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer here from Myrtle Beach. I'm so glad you're joining me on this Friday morning. It's a glorious sunrise as we're sitting here on the balcony and just listening to the peaceful, beautiful waves and seeing all of God's wonderful creation. And so now let us begin with the word of prayer. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth, and mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, o come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God our light and our life. O come, o come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 32. Happy are they whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sin is put away. Happy are they to whom the Lord imputes no guilt and, and in whose spirit there is no guile. While I held my tongue, my bones withered away because of my groaning all day long. For your hands are was heavy upon the day and night. My moisture was dried up as in the heat of the summer. And I acknowledged my sin to you and I did not conceal my guilt. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. Then you forgave me the guilt of my sin. Therefore, all the faithful will, I will make their prayers to you in time of trouble. When the great waters overflow, they shall not reach them. They are my hiding place. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not like uh, do not be like horse or mule, which have no understanding, who must be fitted with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great are the tribulations of the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord God, you desire, desired to keep us from your wrath, and so did not spare your holy servant, Jesus Christ, who was wounded for our sins. We are your prodigal children, but we come back to you confessing our sins. Embrace us that we may rejoice in your mercy together with your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pastor Neil, would you like to read the lessons? First lesson from Jeremiah, the 38th chapter, verses 14 to 28. King Zedekiah sent for Jeremiah the prophet and received him at the third entrance of the temple of the Lord. And the king said to Jeremiah, I will ask you a question. Hide nothing from me. And Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, If I tell you, will you not be sure to put me to death? And if I give you counsel, you will not listen to me. And King Zedekiah swore secretly to Jeremiah, As the Lord lives, who made our souls, I will not put you to death or deliver you into the hand of these men who seek your life. Then Jeremiah said to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, If you will surrender to the princes of the king of Babylon, then your life shall be spared, and this city shall not be burned with fire, and you and your house shall live. But if you do not surrender to the princes of the king of Babylon, then this city shall be given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they shall burn it with fire, and you shall not escape from their hand. King Zedekiah said to Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews who have deserted to the Chaldeans, lest I be handed over to them, and they abuse me. And Jeremiah said, You shall not be given to them. Obey now the voice of the Lord in what I say to you, and it shall be well with you, and your life shall be spared. But if you refuse to surrender, this is the vision which the Lord has shown to me. 
Behold, all the women left in the house of the king of Judah were being led out to the princes of the king of Babylon and were saying, Your trusted friends have deceived you and prevailed against you. Now that your feet are sunk in the mire, they turn away from you. All your wives and your sons shall be led out to the Chaldeans, and you yourself shall not escape from their, their hand, but shall be seized by the king of Babylon, and this city shall be burned with fire. Then Zedekiah said to Jeremiah, Let no one know of these words, and you shall not die. If the princes hear that I have spoken with you, and come to you and say to you, Tell us what you said to the king and what the king said to you. Hide nothing from us, and we will not put you to death. Then you shall say to them, I make a humble plea to the king that he would not send me back to the house of Jonathan to die there. Then all the princes came to Jeremiah and asked him, and he answered them as the king had instructed him. So they left off speaking with him, for the conversation had not been overheard. And Jeremiah remained in the court of the guard until that day Jerusalem was taken. Praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> a second reading comes from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Now, I would remind you, brethren, in what terms I preached to you the gospel which you received, in which you stand, by which you have saved, you are saved, if you hold it fast, unless you believe in vain. For I delivered to you, as of the first importance, that I also received that Christ died for our sins in, in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brethren at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to the one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, and fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am, I am what I am. And his grace toward me is not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God, which is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to yeah. God. And the Holy Gospel comes from St. Matthew, the 11th chapter. And when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now when John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word by his apostles and said to him, Are you he who is to come, or shall we look for another? And Jesus answered him, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The leopards are cleansed, and the deaf hear and the dead are raised up, and the poor have good news preached to them. And blessed is he who takes no offense at me. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. <coughs> but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, thou who art untamed and perilous, who dost deal in every form of danger and made modes of death strip us of our pretensions and vanities, expose to the strong his weakness and to the wise his folly, but set in our hearts an unquenchable hope and in thine own way fulfill it. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty, be with all those with 
Nebuchadnezzar in Israel. Give them strength and wisdom. Guide their leaders. Be in our country, Lord, with our leadership now. We pray for your holy presence uh, among us, Lord. Lord, all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin or be overcome in adversity. And all that we do directed to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The line is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in this peace. Amen. Amen. Well, it's great being with you this morning. I'm, I'm really hoping I can figure out how to pack all the sunshine and warmth uh, to take up north because... Even though it has been cool here, you've been a lot colder. <laughs> and we are just enjoying the beautiful sound of the waves and just the beauty that is here. But I will be seeing you soon. God bless you all and have a safe and blessed day. Bye-bye.